size and picture and engineer. Got a picture in your head? Now open your eyes and raise your hand if you pictured a young guy sitting alone on a computer. Someone like a nerdy or pocket protector. Now raise your hand if you pictured a train driver. Now raise your hand if you pictured a young guy with a hoodie. Someone like Mark Zuckerberg. Now raise your hand if you pictured someone who looks just like me. Well, if you pictured me, you're on the right track because I, being an engineering student myself, proud to be in this field and soon to be a professional youth of this country. Hello everyone, I'm Sujal, doing my engineering in Sri Saram Engineering College and also volunteering at Rad Square Charity Foundation. Before I dig deeper into the video, let me tell you the purpose of the video. Number one, this video is for those young girls who aspire to do something and also who got big dreams to achieve. And number two, it's also for those who refrain from stepping further due to various obstacles. And number three is the keen role of women in technological field and how that they can be brave and innovative and also be professionally responsible for all their careers in their life. Engineers are making one of the biggest advancements in our society. They are changing things or also working on things such as global warming, making medical breakthroughs, and also many aspects that are changing each and every one of our lives. And with half the population being female, we deserve to get female perspective, isn't it so? Okay, now you might even ask, why do we care? Let's just men do all the engineering. Well, here is a fact that so many women gravitate towards their careers and professions that they know that they're going to be great in. But most of the girls are taught to, you know, avoid risks and failure. And they're taught to play safe, smile pretty, and get all A's. But boys, on the other hand, they are taught to play rough, you know, swing high, and crawl to the top of the monkey bars and then jump off. Well, they are habituated to take risks and they are also rewarded for it. We are not teaching our girls to be brave. We have to begin to undo the socialization of perfection and tell the girls that they are not alone. Okay, It's okay to be imperfect. And so it's not just that we teach them how to build your career or how to you know face the uh, different problems in your life but we teach them to be brave because when we teach them to be brave and try to leverage it you're gonna get amazing things and you're gonna see the results very soon and we have to show them that they will be loved and accepted not for being perfect but because you took that courage to do it, right? So I need each one of you to tell every young woman you know, whether it be your niece, your colleague, your friend, your employee, that it's okay to be imperfect, all right? Because when we teach girls to be imperfect, we create a huge movement of young girls who 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 in their later life you know get to get to the point where they could achieve bigger things that no one could have no one could have even known about that we know that academically today women are faring way good than ever before and whether it be mass level graduates or just graduates or even in the workforce they're all comprised of women. But even there is 18 percentage of women in the, in the engineering field or in the computer science field, we still, we still give a smaller percentage in the workforce. 
and that's why it is so important to encourage, empower, inspire as many as young women we can. Kalpana Chawla, the first Indian woman to go to space, and Sudha Murthy, and many more to name, they all had their own struggles, but nothing stopped them from achieving their goal and also have reached such greater heights. So let's contribute to the society in all possible ways and take a step forward in this beautiful journey, make a difference and create history once again.